Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. If you are new here, what up? Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Calivor and how to fly Calivor, or more specifically, how I fly Calivor. I was lucky enough to be able to, to test Calivor for two weeks through the Creator's Faction, um, and I really liked flying him. He is very, very frustrating, though, I will admit. Um, so, quick spell kit run over. He has Dirge, which is a white death gaze type spell with a long cooldown, so it is not the main way that he does damage. He also has a white one rage cloak. It is called crossover. When you go into it, you get 33% of your ammo back and it has no cooldown. So you can pop out of it um, and then completely dodge again if you need to. Uh, it is one rage though, so you can't use it a ton. But if you let it go completely off, it does damage the towers. So if you pop it, it, it does give you a little bit of damage there. Um, the next spell is a rotation spell. So it's two spells in one. It is Eulogy, which is a 200% increase in the breath damage, and then Wake, which is a red uh, freeze type spell. So it can freeze pretty much a whole island, five towers. Um, I'm not sure if you can get seven if you're like really lucky with placement, but I don't think so. Um, and then the last spell is a passive, which gives you health and rage back on destroying towers, and you always start a battle with full rage. So if you're flying people who often get rage drained, you will start every battle um, even following with full rage. I think Fafnir, the mythic sorcerer from a few seasons ago, had that spell as well. So that is his spell kit, and my preferred way of flying him, um, I would turn onto an island with Dirge, get two towers down, and then cloak, pop the eulogy, so I get 200% increased breath damage, spam down as many towers as I can, um, and then cloak again, and when I am spamming down towers, focus on red mages too, and that way when I come out of the cloak again, I can kind of wake, freeze everything down, um, and then take out any problem towers in the back because my dirge at that point is probably off of cooldown, um, and then I can just cycle that again. Um, however, that does not always work. With Calivor, you really have to be a flyer that can manipulate and reroute your runs if something goes wrong in your sequence. It isn't a dragon that you can fly the same way every single time, every single run, because you never know what people are going to super shot, and that really affects how he performs. Um, I will say that the problem towers are definitely shielding towers, so Earth Flag, Storm, Storm Shields, those uh, you want to get down, and Red Mages, you obviously want to get down so that you can use your freeze, and you can freeze things when you need to. It's also a good idea with this guy to anchor yourself if you can. Um, so leave a tower to help build up your rage. But you always need to be destroying pretty much because that's how you get your health and your rage back for the most part. Um, and that on top of your general rage drain is how you're going to stay alive. So killing things constantly really helps this guy. But it is also, it's also really hard to kill things constantly if you're defended. I'm going to show you two runs. Um, the first run is actually kind of something I was playing around with. Um, it's not really something I would recommend on defended runs because you probably will die. <laughs> but if you are quick enough, you could pull this off to save you one rage from cloaking. Um, if you were following the sequence that I said, this would just take away one cloak from it. And it's how I was flying a friend's base when I was like pretty much farming him nonstop. So I'm so sorry, Leo, for farming you for this. But I'm going to break it down for you guys really quick um, and slow it down a little bit so you can see kind of what I did. This wasn't a perfect one. Um, Dad was following me when I was doing this. And there were a few that I got good, but I didn't record them. I don't have the dragon anymore, so I can't jump in and like record the footage for you guys again. So I was just lucky enough to still have this in my camera roll to kind of show you how I did it, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the corner with Dirge and I'm gonna shoot at the two towers right there and immediately eulogy, spam down the towers and cloak. Now, when I come out, I didn't take the red mage. Um, I forgot to focus on that. So I couldn't wake the towers to stop them from hurting me, but that is a way that I was flying a few runs and it seemed to work pretty good undefended. Um, I'm not sure how well it would work defended because the towers would be super shotted, but I think if you shoot fast enough on turn to take out any shielding towers, that it could be something um, that you could experiment with. So just dirge and then eulogy, spam down any reds definitely, um, and then cloak. So you're saving yourself one cloak, but you have to be extremely, extremely fast to pull this off. And I don't think 
I could have pulled it off defended. Um, I am not a super, super fast flyer. I am more like a snail most times. Um, so I don't think that I could pull it off defended, but undefended, I was able to do it a few times and it did save me that one rage for the kill. Um, now this was 107s and my dragon was uh, legendary Eldritch at this point. So not really a fair matchup, but I was able to do it. Um, and Leo's base is pretty, um, pretty high in defense power. So I was, I was glad with what I was able to do. Um, and I did it so many times <laughs> that it got to the point where it was smooth enough that I wasn't even getting hit. Um, and that's where I think that it will play into effect defended if you can pull it off. So hopefully when I actually get him in a few weeks, I think I have like maybe two more events before I can get him. Hopefully I can play around with him enough that I can get it down and show you guys in another video. So this next video is a video that is on my channel currently. It is Calivor. Um, he was, I think, 11 or 13 bill legendary Eldritch against a 24 bill triple defended 107 base. Um, this was one in a million runs. Um, I farmed Sky, Glad Sky Gladiators for a hot minute one night. Um, I have a friend on that team and he was able to, to get people to defend and I was super grateful to be able to get the footage. Um, so thank you so much for that. So this run was on um, a 24 bill base with 107s and you can see how much rage you need it, on this dragon like it, it's insane especially triple defended with all those super shots coming at you it is insanity so i'm gonna slow this down as as good as i can and uh try to tell you what i did okay so this run is the same run that you just saw in full speed down to 30 percent. i really wanted you to see what was happening and please keep in mind that this is a triple defended run it's a 24 bill base with 107s, and this dragon that I am flying was only 11 to 13 bill at Legendary Eldritch. Um, so I turn the corner with the dirge in my mouth, and I shoot immediately for the storm tower and the fire flag. I take those out and I cloak. When I come out of cloak, I use the 200% increased breath damage and I go for the pylon and the red mage, but I am not able to spam them down and I have to cloak the super shot from the mage. I come out, I spam the red mage down, I'm able to cloak again to avoid those super shots, and I come out and I use wake to freeze down the blue mage and the pylon, and dirge comes off of cooldown and I am able to use the dirge at the howitzer as it super shots um, and shoots towards me. I'm able to get off a quick eulogy and spam down that pylon and cloak the howitzer super shot. And then I come out of that cloak and I spam down the blue mage while they weren't like hammering like crazy. And then I am able to spam down one of the lightnings as well, luckily. So I cloak, get a little bit of ammo back, um, kind of assess the situation at this point. Um, I come out of the cloak. I'm pretty vulnerable at this point. I am able to use the wake and freeze things. To anchor myself and get a little bit more rage back you can see there's not much rage that i have i have don't even have a full bar i am silenced by the ice flak i do get hit here um and so i can't use any spells at this point but the only thing that's left alive is that one lone lightning tower um which isn't a huge threat on its own so i'm able to just wait use it as an anchor get some rage back um and then wait to spam down the lightning you can see all of my ammo <laughs> does not take it down. I have to go into the cloak, get 33% ammo back, and then pop it down um, and, and finish it off. And that was that run kind of broken down and what exactly I did to survive. That was triple defended, um, just regular base, not Atlas. Atlas, things are a little bit different, a little bit shifted, and I'll make more videos with him in Atlas when I get him myself and I can put actual like good runes, um, rider gear, all that stuff on him because he will be mine forever. So I hope this helped you guys um, see just how micromanaging you have to be in his spell kit to do well. Um, he is not a dragon that you are gonna be consistent with every single run. He is a dragon that will frustrate you, but he is a dragon that if you put in the time and the effort to really learn and really get good with, you will see success with him. It's just gonna take a lot of time. Um, he is a great follow dragon for the fact that you always have full rage. And when I did have him for the two weeks, I found myself using him a lot, especially in Atlas runs. Um, we did have a war that I, I ended up using him in. Um, and it really, really helped having him because you started with that full rage. Now I could have pulled out nausea and um, the war we had wasn't really that hard. Um, I could have pulled out nausea and gotten 
um, a rage mark off and, and healed and, and gotten enough rage to get me by. But it was so nice starting with full rage and having a chance because sometimes when people get rage drained and you don't have a dragon like Fafnir or like Calivor where you get rage back, it is, you can't do anything. You can't do anything, especially with, you know, unless you have a dragon like Gig who has spells that don't rely on rage. If you have a dragon like that, you're okay. But if you have a dragon like Hauazen, um or, you know, Lockjaw, who I think has a, like, sacrifice type spell so you can get rage back, or it might not be sacrifice, and I'm kind of rambling, but anyway, it's really nice. I love the dragon. I am excited to play with him more. Um, I'm excited to put actual good runes and stuff on him and see what I can actually do with him uh, instead of struggling hardcore on every run, and I did hit Mythic Eldritch in breeding, luckily, so that'll give me a little bit of a power jump there, too. So I'll post more videos with him. Um, I have a little stockpile of some defended runs that I can post um, until I am able to get him in about two weeks. And hopefully you guys are still interested in seeing more about him and learning more about flying him. I'll probably do an updated how to fly once I have him for myself and I've flown him a lot more just to help you guys out um, and break down a few more of my runs. If you like this type of video, please let me know and I will definitely do more on, you know, the other dragons in the season if that's what you want to see. So if you want to see like a how to fly Luzak or how to fly Morav, please let me know and I will be happy to do those. I am also looking into starting an Atlas series, um, kind of like Atlas for Beginners. I know a ton of people just got their foot into the door of Atlas and I know how overwhelming it was for me when I first got Atlas because I had no clue of what to do and I really didn't know what to do for a very long time in Atlas because I just refused to learn. So let me know if that is something that you're interested in as well. I'll probably be posting my first um, How to Atlas video um, in a few days and we'll see how that one does but if you have any requests or anything that's specific that you want to see please let me know I also stream every Sunday um, anywhere from about 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, central U.S. time I probably will sprinkle in some more streams here and there but that is my set stream day for now so if you want to catch a stream come say hi you can do that any comments comment them any questions I'm sorry any questions comment them and I will be happy to answer and hopefully this isn't too crazy long but hopefully it also helps you guys so let me know what you want to see thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for your comments I'm really bad at this okay bye